Hi, Professor Wiggins. This is Jonathan Fisher for Team Flapping Blackbird, and this is our Milestone 3 summarization video. Starting with Milestone 1, we built the flyer as specified in the Flappy Flyer kit, so everything was the exact same as it said in the instructions, and we ran 10 tests, and we took a video of our best one. Here it is. I'll keep going. Ah, that was good. For all these tests, we got an average flight time of 5.6 seconds, but there was a lot of variation in the data. However, we are concerned that changing the design extremely would have a negative effect considering how fragile the flyer is in and of itself. We wanted to keep our variations simple and easy to measure. We observed during milestone one that in flight, the flyer kind of had a oscillatory motion. It would go up and then swing back and do that over and over and over again. And sometimes it would go up so high that it would turn around and just nose dive straight into the ground. And we hypothesized that this is because the tail angle on the back was too high and that it flew in equilibrium when the tail was parallel with the, with the ground like that. So we decided that there would be a more consistent flight path and longer flight time if we decrease that tail angle. And heading into milestone two, we figured out the optimum tail angle for prolonged flight. Find all the requirements and laid out the whole process in our V diagram. Here it is. So as I mentioned before, we said that the flyer should be cheap and light and that we're not going to change the specifications by too much in fear of ruining the flyer altogether. Then we define our requirements in the second block in the V diagram, keeping the cost under $5, not changing the weight by too much, and increasing the time by the average flight time by one second. We actually increased that in the very end to 1.4 seconds with a confidence interval of 90% over uh, a one second increase. To meet the 20% requirement, we started at a iteration of 12 degrees because the original angle was 15 3 out of 15, 20%. And we went down 2 degrees until we thought that we had hit the optimal angle. Optimal angle. And after seeing the drop in flight time from 8 degrees to 6 degrees, we decided that the optimal angle in milestone 2 was between 7 and 9 degrees, and we would shoot for 8, eyeballing it with a protractor. We implemented that 20% decrease in angle right here in the third block in the V diagram. Going into milestone 2 testing, we, of course, were concerned with how many tests we were going to run, and we wanted to reinforce a lot of the inserts and what uh, spar connections on the Flappy Flyer. And we put that right here in our V diagram because that, uh, that changed the performance almost as much as the tail angle, just making sure that the flyer was in good condition before each trial. Heading into Milestone 3. We wanted to run 10 more tests with the tail angle of 8 degrees and see if we could get a mean flight time of over 7 seconds with a confidence interval lower bound over 6.6 .6 seconds at 90%. We felt that if we accomplished that, then we hit all of our design specifications and no more iterations need to be made. Unfortunately, we did not get a video of our best flight time as we forgot to record our extra 10 tests for Milestone 3, but we do have two videos, one of us testing after the fact and one from class on Wednesday. Here they are. You can see the flight path was much smoother and it went down and up only once during the whole flight. We are happy with that. At the end of the day, we did hit our mark of 7.1 second average flight time and the lower end of the confidence in interval at 6.89 seconds at 90%. So after those 10 flights, we were confident that we hit our design specifications and we ended the project. 